lightweight but very powerful database visualization tool. It's an open source project and you can download it for free and get started. It's based on Java so you can use any JDBC driver to connect to your existing database, whether that's Postgres, MySQL, Oracle, SQLite, etc. After downloading, you'll want to make sure that you have the JDBC driver for your database installed. In my case, I have a Postgres database installed locally, which I'll use for demonstration. I've downloaded the DVD rentals schema from postgresqltutorial.com, and it looks like this. Back to the tool, I'll go into the query designer. And before that, I'll connect to the database. And from here, I can browse all the tables in the public schema. I can quickly add all the tables. And you'll notice that they're automatically linked by their foreign key relationships. I can arrange. And I can even specify how they're joined left, right, inner, etc. To run a query, I just select the, the uh, various columns that I'm interested in. For example, title, description, release here, and let's say some category ID, and actor ID. And let's, let's say I want to know which uh, which actor played in the movie. So I'll have first name and last name as well. And then I can run it. Now the output of this query designer is this query. There's a bunch of other features which you can explore as well. For example, you can alias any table Let's call the film F, film actor FA, film category FC, and actor A. You'll notice the select statement updates with the uh, alias table names, and that's reflected in the syntax as well. Another cool feature of SQL Neo is the ability to reverse any existing query. So to demonstrate, I'll grab this query text, copy it to the clipboard, and launch a new query designer. Instead of adding the tables in the, in the designer, I'll go to the syntax, paste the output of the query, go back to designer. It'll say syntax changed, do you want to apply the changes? Click yes, and you'll get all the tables. And there you go. You're right back to where you were. You can run the query. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of SQLio. Please leave any questions in the comments below.